This is actually the first kiss. Yeah. You, this is like attempting the very first kiss, which is kind of amazing. Oh my God, look at them searching for each other. <laughs> I'm Melanie Lane, I'm a choreographer and performing artist and I'm the established artist in residence for digital innovation. It's like an actual real first kiss when it's like really awkward. <laughs> it's actually really good. To see it actually coming together for the first time is super exciting and there's something really both uncanny but also beautiful but also frightening. <laughs> it's amazing. Should we try another one? What about, um, this is actually really useful I think to kind of see what's possible. I just wanted to start with something really simple I suppose and the act of kissing felt like a really simple and universal action that we all know and we can all relate to and that's been really interesting as a way to sort of interrogate using technology as a way to sort of archive the body and so we've come up with this idea of using two robotic arms that can speak with each other through different sort of acts of intimacy. It felt in some ways quite human. Yeah, or it could come from under, yeah. come up kind of thing. Yeah. It's like such a different way to think about movement and the body and there's obviously sort of like a gap between um, the way I work with my body usually and how to experience movement through another vessel, which is the robot. It's kind of robotic puppetry, isn't it? Yeah, it's really interesting. I mean, it's like I'm learning something from scratch and I think um, it goes both ways as well. And I think, you know, the people that I'm working with, the students, that they're also learning something for the first time. It's their first art project. So it's, it's just really, really fun to be able to share these two very different languages and experiences and knowledge. Bring that to zero first and then I'll continue. I see. Just that dialogue in itself, I think, is really exciting. This is the finished model of the 3D printed head. And from that, we vacuum pressed this prototype, which is unfinished at the moment, so it will still receive some other details. But this is sort of an accident that I really loved. Yeah, it's amazing to have access to all these resources, which is just something that I could never really have imagined prior to this. So it's such a unique and kind of one of a kind opportunity, I think, and be able to continue dreaming beyond sort of the limits that I've had in the past. It's beautiful when they both kind of turn heads together. It's been like learning, learning a new instrument or learning a new language um, and trying to translate the way I understand movement into this other form, which has been really interesting. <laughs> Even just those little weird movements are quite cool. <laughs> Getting in there. 